Hi everyone, it's Ms. Sheffer here and welcome to Google Slides Lesson 12. And in this lesson, we're going to learn how to share a presentation, how to use speaker notes as well as grid lines. So if we tap on the dot, dot, dot in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see the option to turn on speaker notes. It's underneath change theme. So when we turn that on, you'll notice the slide sort of zoomed out a bit and then underneath, I now have white space that says tap to add speaker notes. So this is where I can tap and my on-screen keyboard will appear. And this is where I can begin to add some notes uh, that will help guide me during my presentation. So for example, I might wanna start off by saying the lion is actually not the king of the jungle. Um, they actually don't live in jungles. So we are um, clarifying one of the myths right off the bat in the beginning of our, of our presentation. So again, if you want to add speaker notes, it's very helpful for you to do that because you really don't wanna put every single word that you're going to say during your presentation on the slide. Uh, the audience will quickly lose interest in what you're actually saying and they'll simply just start reading the slides. So again, as we go through this presentation, you'll see how visual it is, how each slide looks very different. However, that being said, I still have a consistent theme with the orange color and I have consistent fonts that I've used. So keep that in mind that speaker notes can help guide you when you're presenting and they can help you prepare for that oral presentation. Next, if we tap on that dot, 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 you're going to see view guides. Now, when we turn this on, you'll notice that the slide now has these grid lines on each and every slide, and that is going to help you create precise uh, positions for each of the elements that you add to your slide. So if you wanna get very exact with the alignment of your images and your uh, text, um, keep that in mind. You can turn on those grid lines. Book Creator has something similar in the Book Creator app. So you may or may not find this helpful if you, instead of using just your eye to align things, you can actually use these grid lines. And when you go into presentation mode, those grid lines will not appear when you're presenting. So just keep that in mind. And then last but not least in this uh, tutorial. I want to show you and quickly review how to share in case you're not familiar with sharing. The share button is the little person icon with the plus next to it. So if your teacher is asking you to do something collaboratively, remember you can only share within the Burlington Public School District. So if it was a classmate, in my case, let's just say I'm doing this with Mrs. Artizoni, I would begin to type an address and then of my uh, classmate, an email address, and then you'll notice it says editor. Oftentimes, if you're going to be collaborating with a classmate, you want to leave that as editor so that they can add information and they can contribute to the development of the presentation. If you are just sharing this with somebody and you want their feedback as a viewer, you would tap on editor and you can change this to either viewer or commenter. So that is a quick review on how you will uh, share, how you can add speaker notes, and how you can apply grid lines to help you get precise exact measurements when you are um, creating each of your slides.